please tell us? Okay, this, uh, this camera is a, a prototype. It was made in joint venture uh, with Zenit and Silvestri Italy. Um, Zenit is from Russia. And uh, Silvestri made the electronic part and Zenit the optical uh, and mechanical part. Um, it's a digital panoramic camera. It's made of three lenses with three sensors. Each sensor is five megapixel each, mm -hmm. and they produce three images that are stitched together with the software on the PC. Mm, so giving a total image of uh, twelve, about twelve megapixels. Total of twelve megapixels. Yes, for 120 degrees uh, in horizontal mm -hmm. and uh, 45 degrees in vertical. In vertical. So you said it's a prototype? It's a prototype. It will be ready for distribution uh, around March, April of 2011. Okay, do you think there's a, there's a market for it? Uh, what's the customers you want to uh, approach with it? Well, the customer is um, the professional, but also uh, an amateur. Uh, no. Uh, the lovers of panoramic uh, images. Mm -hmm. And so it's a 120 degrees panoramic image? Yes. But you can also make 360 degrees panoramic images. Don't you think that's then too too little actually? Well, no. It, actually, if you mount it on a, on a tripod head, you can even do more images and then stitch all of them all together. Okay, so that would actually make it easier <laughs> with this camera but to this make it. this is meant, you see, to, 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 to do an instant photograph. Mm. Uh, that's why three lenses and three sensors, because even if there is uh, an object in movement in the image, uh, it's fine. It's not like if the lens was rotating. Okay, so you can actually make panoramics of like a sports match or something. Exactly, exactly, or a car passing by, or people. Okay. Do you have like a price indication? Do you know what it's what it will be costing? Well, it's, there? Uh, it's not ready the price yet, but uh, we think it will be approximately between 1,000 and 1,500 euros. Euros. And will you are you planning on getting it to the European market? Uh, well, European and uh, even outside Europe. 